G'day friends, welcome to Tag Tuesday. Today's tag is a Disney Pixar tag, much like the Dala tag I made a few weeks ago. And it's uh, it's a paper cutting, paper stucking, paper art tag, 3D paper art, uh, you know what I'm talking about. And um, this is from the Disney Pixar movie Coco, which is actually not even out yet. It's coming out, I believe, this year in November. But uh, we were at D23, Steve and I went to D23 Expo over the weekend, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like Comic-Con, but Disney. Uh, everything in there is Disney. It's a big, um, I think it's marketed as the biggest Disney fan event expo thing kind of thing. I don't know. Steve and I went on the Friday and, uh, and just wanted to check it out and see what it was all about. They had some panels there. Whoopi Goldberg was there. Oprah was running around. Kristen Bell, John Lasseter. I mean, all the Disney people um, that are, you know, of days of old and, and current Disney you know, princess voices, just everyone's running around and doing panels and telling you all the secret stuff that's coming to Disneyland and Disney animation for the next few years. So it's a, it's a massive expo and we saw this um, in the Pixar booth, they had a big preview running of Coco and we actually saw it in a preview uh, before a movie. What movie would that have been? I can't remember. We were at the movies and we saw it previewed before what the main feature. And it just looked like so much fun. Um, he's a little Hispanic boy, little Mexican boy, and um, he basically is venturing into the realm of uh, the dead. So it's based around Dia de los Muertos. I don't really speak Spanish, so uh, apologies for that. But um, yeah, so we don't know too much about it, but we were seeing some of the previews at D23. <clears throat> Pardon me. We actually ran into the co-director of that movie. Uh, he was by the booth, so we were just chatting to him some more about that, and he was saying that it's really all about the music, it's integral uh, to the storytelling in that film. It just looks amazing. The art direction looks incredible. Anything Disney Pixar is obviously gonna be good. I mean, that's just a given. So, um, Steve was really touched by it because it's a boy, it's a, you know, a little Hispanic boy, so I think he really felt his uh, his childhood coming out there. And, um, and yeah, he told me that we sh I should make my Tag Tuesday about the, the D23 Expo. And I thought, well, I'd, I'd collected a bunch of stuff. Don't you believe me? Every kind of pamphlet and brochure they had around, I collected it. Um, and I had a bunch of stuff, and I was considering doing a whole D23 thing, a whole Disney, you know, fan expo, Tag Tuesday. It just started getting a little broad, and I had so much stuff, I couldn't really narrow it down. And I thought, you know what, why don't I just commit to one tag this week. Why don't I just do one mega tag? So I actually didn't even do it on a manila, manila shipping tag. I made my own tag that's literally like 11 inches long. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to make Coco's guitar. I thought it would just be really, really fun. It seemed simple in theory, but then when I started adding the details on, I realized just how simple it wasn't. Um, I grabbed a bunch of Tim Holtz papers. Uh, you know, I don't know the parts of a guitar, so I'm probably going to butcher it when I'm talking about it. But <laughs> um, basically there, that topper, is that the thing? The topper? <laughs> Where all the strings go on the knobs? Um, those little like twisty knob things. I had these jewelry clasps, these jewelry pieces from a jewelry making kit that I just don't use. And I thought those would be really great to stick on the end. And then I could thread some actual gold thread for the strings. And you know, all of this is made of paper and thread and these little jewelry clasps and glue and, uh, and foam dots, obviously. Um, and I just painted on some details. I had these weird, uh, they're not weird, but it's weird because they're amazing quality. These kind of metallic pearl paints, but they're in those little like finger paint tubs. You know, they're like the little kids, you know, the little plastic things. You can see them in the top left hand corner of the screen there. They're actually amazing quality. I forget the brand. My mum came home with them one day. I've got a glitter version and I've got those pearl metallic version. And they're, they're just really, really great quality. I don't know if it was a sample from somewhere that it, they were doing, you know, it was really good paint and they just put them in those pots to sample them. But um, yeah, it's, it's really amazing. So I decided to use the Tim Holtz papers. I also used a, a vintage piece of paper that I got in some Happy Mail for the, um, the top piece, the top layer of the guitar. And uh, yeah, I just, I went nuts with it. I used my light box. I had already traced out um, 
the, the design onto my paper pattern. So I'll just explain when I'm making these paper cutting, these paper stacking things. So I'll, most of the time I'll make a pattern for them um, just so I know that I'm in the right direction and the proportions are right and that they're, they're going to stack the way that I want them to look at the end. So it is a little fussy for me. Oh, cute little uh, detail that kind of disappears when I paint it. I used a map the map paper with South America on it and Mexico for that long bit where all the frets are. I think I know that. Is that is that that bit? <laughs> what, wherever the frets are, whatever that's attached to, that's what I was using um, that map paper for. And I use that because obviously Coco's from Mexico, so I thought that was a cute little uh, hidden touch. But yeah, so um, when I was doing the, the details, I do them on a, a pattern. A paper pattern that I've made so I already had that one in black and white you can see it's on the screen there still and uh, I just use that as a reference I kind of trace around the shapes on the actual cardstock that I want to use and uh, and do it that way and so I just took my paper over to the light box to trace on the pattern that I'd already drawn out so I wasn't really cheating um, even if I was it really wouldn't matter because it's not about that <laughs> it's uh, it's about the paper stacking not so much the painting or the drawing or the details this time Although, this detail of the thread, I, uh, in theory it seemed like it would be super simple once they were all glued down, but it was so difficult. You can see I have those jewellery clasps again, I've actually um, broken them in half this time because I only needed the, I only needed half of them, and uh, I threaded, I thread? I thread the thread through, threaded the thread, I can't figure out if that's the right way to say it, um, but I put the string through the gold thread. And, uh, and then glued them down with some glossy accents. I love to work with glossy accents when I'm doing this paper stacking because it's got a fine point on the glue and it dries kind of quick. The only problem I have is that if it goes anywhere else, suddenly that part is glossy and it can be a little messy and a little fiddly. So uh, I have kind of ruined things before having the glossy accents, you know, accidentally spurred out somewhere or accidentally moving it with my finger. So just be careful if that's what you're doing. Um, unless you don't like things to look messy. I'm generally nine times out of ten. I won't really care But if I'm spending a lot of time on something, you know It's just kind of annoying if I get a fingerprint on it at the end or if an ink blot falls on top of it And I didn't want it to uh, Here I've got some twine and I thought I'd use the twine to make the frets I really hope that frets is the word I'm looking for here because that's just embarrassing if it's not <laughs> I mean, I don't even know the rest of the part of the guitar. What's that thing called where the hole is? the hole um, the knobs, the strings, the frets, the long thing, the bass, which I'm sure is not a term. I don't think any of these are terms except for frets, and I don't even know if that's right. Um, but anyway, I had a really great time making this. It actually took me a while. This is probably one of the longest Tag Tuesdays I've done. Mm one of the longer ones, but if, as far as one tag goes, this is definitely by far the longest uh, that I've spent making one tag. But, I mean, it's kind of a big tag, so technically I could I could say that it was worth five tags. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I don't really have a lot more to say about it. Uh, it's just paper stacking, you know, once all the individual elements are done, uh, I guess the process, I make my pattern, then I trace around it, and then I make my individual elements. Oh, you're gonna see me struggle here trying to get those strings threaded. Um, yeah, once I've, I've cut out all the pieces, I start stacking them. You can see the foam dots there. Uh, sometimes I'll, I, I won't really care, like if something's supposed to be on top of something else or, you know, in what order it goes in. I just have a general idea of how I want it to look and, uh, and just go that way. You can get a whole lot more detailed with it. You can make every individual bit um, you know, stacked, but for me, I thought the, the fun elements on here would be the designs on the guitar, I thought it'd be like the metallic sheen, I thought it'd be the, you know, the cute little jewellery pieces and the strings, I thought those would be the fun elements to play off of, so, um, you know, once I spend my life trying to figure out how to string these along, uh, which took a while, <laughs> uh, I think I just go back over with some details and put some more, more metallic pearl paint on and then um, attach it to the tag. Yeah, so I'm going to show you the rest of that. I don't need to talk through that and then I'm going to show you the close-ups. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tag. I certainly had fun making it. It's huge. It sits above Steve's desk now. He loves it. Uh, I can't wait for this movie to come out. And if you've ever got the chance to go to D23 Expo, if you're ever around Anaheim for that time, uh, it's it's really interesting. If you can get through the long, 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 long lines, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, you, you'll definitely want to be a fan of whatever you're going to see because it, the lines can just be insane. 
But if you ever got the chance to go to D23 Expo, they've got some really, really fun stuff going on there. Uh, yeah, the only downside I would say is that the lines are super duper long. But I had a great time. I went on the Friday. It wasn't as busy as I saw the Saturday and Sunday were. So uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm excited for Coco. Uh, have a great week, everybody, and I'll be back for another video soon. Bye.